In this unit, we will learn about what ebooks are, ebook access through the NSU libraries, and ways to access ebook content and e readers in the marketplace. Five questions we will seek to answer about ebooks are as follows Number one, what are ebooks? Number two, do the NSU libraries have access to ebooks? Number three, do the NSU libraries have access to ebook readers? Number four, what are some examples of websites that provide free ebooks? And number five, what are some examples of ebook readers? Number one, what are ebooks? The Oxford English Dictionary defines an ebook or electronic book as a handheld electronic device on which the text of a book can be read. Also, a book whose text is available in an electronic format for reading on such a device or on a computer screen. Occasionally, a book whose text is available only or primarily on the Internet. Number two, do the NSU libraries have access to ebooks? Yes, the NSU libraries offer some through the EBSCOhost ebook collection. You will need to view the EBSCO ebooks tutorial on how to search for ebooks, which can be found in this week's course folder. As a reminder, ebooks from the NSU library cannot be downloaded onto an e-reader, but can be read through an internet connection to view them on a computer or a tablet. Think of this as you would streaming a movie on the internet. You can view the movie in its entirety, but not download it permanently. WorldCat is another online resource to identify books and other materials. Many libraries worldwide, including the NSU libraries, have their catalogs available to search on WorldCat, as you have previously viewed in this week's course folder. If you see an item on WorldCat you would like to check out that is not available at NSU, please contact our Interlibrary Loan Department and they will assist you in requesting this item to be delivered to you at the NSU campus you prefer. Question number three. Do the NSU libraries have access to ebook readers? Yes, patrons have access to several tablets, which can be used for in library checkout at both the NSU Tahlequah and Broken Arrow campus libraries. Question number four What are some examples of websites that provide free ebooks? Here is a listing. From this list, Two of the more popular ebook sites are Project Gutenberg and LibriVox. Both Project Gutenberg and LibriVox allow individuals to freely read or listen to books now in the public domain. Public domain works once possessed a copyright, but through the passage of time, the copyright expired, which now allows anyone access to the material for free and without penalty of copyright infringement. When looking for an ebook to read or download, make sure the file type is supported by your ebook reader, whether that be EPUB, Mobi, iBook, Kindle, or something else. Of course, not all content is in the public domain, which means more current publications have to be purchased. Some of the most familiar locations for buying ebooks are through Amazon, iTunes, and Barnes and Noble. Question number five. What are some examples of ebook readers? There are a number of popular ebook readers currently in the market. Some of these include the following. Depending on the storage capacity of an e-reader, you can store up to hundreds of books on a device at a given time, or if you have a wireless or Wi-Fi connection, you can purchase or download new books with a few simple clicks. By using the forward and back buttons, you can turn pages or simply touch the screen if the device allows. If you pause at a certain point, the e-reader remembers this location and allows for easy access to pick up where you left off, as well as syncing with additional smart devices if you want to read this same content on more than one platform. Additional features of e-readers include the ability to adjust font size and type, search for text, highlight passages, make digital notes, and some have the ability to read text aloud. Some ebooks can be shared with friends or family, much as you would a printed copy of a traditional book. Opinions about ebook readers are still varied. Many factors influence format choice for any type of book, cost, technology, emotional aesthetic appeal, 
content, and even the passage of time all will play a role in whether, when, and how the traditional book will change. As these changes occur, libraries are continually learning new ways of including ebook readers in the services they provide and are finding innovative ways to include ebooks in library collections for patrons to use.